not seen you since you know this. How this are you? Spell, look, it's, it's unbelievable. Do you feel like a model these days, Simon? Oh, I am a model now. Of course you are, yeah. Now, everyone thinks I had a gastric band. I said, well, if I had one, I'd say I had one. But no, I didn't. I just went on the diet and I cut out all the things you shouldn't eat and that was it. Vegan for life? Uh, I think so, yeah. Amazing. Yeah, um, yeah. So you're back on our screens. We love having you back. Uh, is it as good as you thought it would be, Expert Factor Celebrity? Uh, I said to someone earlier on, it's the most fun we've had in years. Uh, and knowing that the, the uh, I call them celebrities, they're now contestants, they are taking it so seriously. It's brilliant. And I think they're enjoying it as well. And it's, they're outside the comfort zone. And I do think there's probably, as it stands right now, two people we'd sign up to the label now. And that was the whole idea in the first place. But how does it work? Do you take on a certain amount of people? Can you sign up whoever you want to sign up? Yeah, yeah, whoever you want. Like I always say on these shows, no rules, and if necessary, make up the rules. Like you did this weekend. Yeah, exactly. Just frighten the life out of them. Yeah. Um, in regards to this band show, you're putting pressure on yourself because you've made some good bands already. Little Mix, One D. You have to put pressure on yourselves. And the truth is, every single time, whether it was Fifth Harmony, uh, One Direction, Little Mix, there wasn't weeks to make your mind up. I mean, in the, in the case of One Direction, we had five minutes. We were either going to lose them or we looked at them and went, you know what, maybe we'll... We'll, we'll see if this could work because I think they've worked great in the group uh, rather than saying to them, I'll come back next year. And then we had 10 days for them to get it together. Came to Marbella, auditioned, and as they left, I literally looked up and I said, Thank you, God, because I could <laughs> sense at that moment that it worked. So it's not so much the, the time pressure, it's making sure we get the right people to turn up. You don't want a bunch of stage school kids, you want people who really will represent what we're trying to do, which is our version of K-pop, which is UK pop. And open auditions? Everything. Open auditions, auditions in my office, auditions in my house. <laughs> Anywhere we can audition, we will audition. And uh, did you jump on it quickly because of the Little Miss Girls announcing their news? Well, the truth was, is last, I think it was last September, I met with uh, Harry, who manages Little Mix, and they said that they were thinking about making this show but they could, the girls couldn't make the show till 2021. So we thought, yeah, we're, def we're definitely interested. But then, because we planned X Factor the groups already for next year, and I have another show called La Banda, which is a group show, which we launched in America, uh, how many years ago? 215. There was a slight conflict of interest. So in the end, we went our separate ways. So when I saw them announce they were bringing it forward, I went, we well, you know what will bring our show forward. <laughs> Seriously, and the, the reason we did it was because I didn't want them to find someone before we found someone. So I call it friendly rivalry. It's quite exciting though, Well, isn't you've got to have a bit of competition. I always remember Oasis versus Blur. Do you remember yeah. that time? Mm. Brilliant. And have you spoken yeah. to the girls about it? No. <laughs> There's no WhatsApp conversation going on there. No, we don't have WhatsApp. But uh, <laughs> no, I wish them well. I hope they wish me well because, look, they helped us. Yeah, they, I made you. They helped. <laughs> no, well, we, look, we made each other. I felt that was the case. And uh, the question is, why, you know, why do you keep doing all these shows, Simon? Do you just love it? I do love it. I love it when you can, that moment when you, you have that one performance, one audition where you think, I, I genuinely think, this is going to change someone's life. You know, like when I, I, I met Camilla Cabela for the first time backstage at an X Factor audition, and she was what was called a reserve. She wasn't going to audition, and she was crying. And I went up to her and said, what's your problem? Well, they won't let me sing. I went, well, I can. So come out and audition, and she nailed it. Then we put her into Fifth Harmony, and then she comes out of Fifth Harmony, and Normani the same. Um, so uh, that's the legacy, that's the point of doing these shows. Biggest pop stars in the world now, Simon. Yeah. You, you did that. Yeah, I enjoy it. And who are you most proud of that you've kind of helped? Oh, well, I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> Does, doesn't Lauren just want to go and just abroad and like, have a holiday without you working for once? Yeah, well, we've well, got well, one we, plan, don't you worry. But when we go abroad, <laughs> we're still working, that's the problem. Yeah. And uh, Eric, can he sing yet? Is he dancing? Singing? No, but he is writing a book with me. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, so he's happy about that, he's loving it. <laughs> All that. he's insisted on that is Eric and Simon, not Simon and Eric. Amazing, thank you so much, Simon. Yeah. Congrats on your success. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Oh, what? Yeah. 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 Yeah.